Now in my home, I don't fry with a lot of canola oil, so this is about all I have. It's enough basically to coat the bottom of the pan. It may be a little too much. But what we do is we don't stack our pancakes. I just make one large one or a medium or whatever, whatever size I'm use. I we only use one. And I also use, depending on the size for large, I use a cup of batter, medium, probably three fourths, small, half. So, but here we go. See how large that is? And I don't like mine too thick. And I also like it crispy around those edges. Here's what these sausages are beginning to look like. They're just about done. Again, like I said, you start off with a cold skillet and they actually come out better. You don't have that sticking. And these are really good. As I said, I got these from Sam's. I think you get 30 for like 6.22. And what's good about them is as you cook them, they don't shrink. Again, this is something that we don't eat every day. Normally, just on the weekends, I prepare breakfast for my family. So these sausages are real good. Pillsbury has some biscuits they sell at Sam's. I think it's like 24. They're on a tray pack. And they're really good also. You just take them out and bake them on 375 for like 7 minutes. What I do, I buy the 24 and then I freeze them in freezer bags. And I'll use them um, during the week for my son's breakfast. Okay, let's check on the pancake. You'll see when it's ready to turn because you'll start getting those bubbles. But as I told y'all, like mine crispy around the edges, and it's just not ready yet. But you have to be careful because I don't want it burned either. So because it's so big in the pot, it may be just about ready to turn. And since I'm holding the camera, I won't be able to do it in the cord. So hold one minute and let me just flip this over. Wasn't a perfect flip, was it? See that around the edges, but it's still good. They're really good. Normally, I'll use all-purpose flour, but this time I'm about self-rising because there was a recipe I had to try and it called for self-rising flour. Self-rising actually takes a, a you know shorter length of time to prepare because with the all-purpose flour, I think it's a cup and a half of flour. Then you have to use um, three and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and then you use a, a teaspoon of salt. And then the rest of the recipe is just like it's like it was. Only thing, remember, you have to melt that three tablespoons of butter. But don't let that butter get hot. I put mine in my microwave for about 30 seconds. It wasn't completely melted. I had to actually take the part part that was softened and mix it up to get the melted incorporate, you know, the, the melted effect of it. But it was softened. So if you can get it softened, that's good. But the liquid is actually better because it helps to, um, you know, just to thin out the final uh, recipe of the pancake mix. But this is really good pancake mix. I actually don't even buy the box anymore. Now I know it's convenient, but I only fix breakfast really on the weekends. During the week, my son may actually come in, he's 13, and do him one sausage and one biscuit. Now my mother loves these, and uh, she was the one that told me about them, but what she does is she places her biscuit in the microwave and she said it's just as good but it's very convenient and you think about it for $6.22 you're getting 30 sausages and I think for almost $6 now they were four but I think buy something now for those 24 biscuits and you got at least 24 sausage and biscuits with six sausages left over to fix with a pan with pancakes one day like I'm doing here today so that's a, a good economical way to feed your kids breakfast if you have to feed them breakfast in the morning because breakfast is a dollar at school I think for my son so you know, by the time I get him there because I have to drop him off, he's usually, the bell is usually ringing. So we, we have breakfast at home. Well, he does. I actually eat at work. Hold one moment. Okay, here's the final product on that pancake. It's actually thicker than I normally fix them, but that's okay. I'm sure it's going to taste good. <laughs> he's not going to complain. Okay, our sausages are done. And um, hold one moment. We'll show you how they came out. Remember, um, those are at Sam's. They're 30 pack for 622. I don't know how much they are in your area, but here where I'm located, they're 622, and it's 30. And you can put them on. How I fix them is I put them in a cold skillet. I place my um, my stove top on uh, the number three, 
and I let them actually cook while I'm getting ready for work or whatever. And if you're going to do those biscuits, all you do is place them in the oven, set your timer for seven minutes if they're um, at room temperature. And if they're if you've frozen them and you're going to put them directly into the oven, I normally bake them about 12 minutes and turn the oven off and let them stay in there. And they're actually perfect when I come to get them out. So, but you got to do those 12 minutes and turn it off because one morning I forgot and they were so hard we couldn't eat them for breakfast. So don't make that mistake. Well, our sausage are done. What I do when I completely, uh, when they're finished, I place them on a paper towel to absorb their grease. And I'll also put them in a paper towel and squeeze them down to uh, get that grease out. They're actually good. Uh, I like the meat. I don't like the grease. Okay, so that's it for the sausage. Okay, here's the finished product. We have uh, one large pancake, two sausages. This is breakfast. Today is Saturday, September the 14th, 2013. Enjoy your day. Be blessed.